Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how to use the Shopify CDN in order to properly store other files on your website. So let's jump into it. All right, so if you have something other than just the image that you want to put on a product, maybe you have a PDF, maybe you have a spec sheet, maybe you're something outside of just the regular t-shirt store and you need to store it on Shopify. Now Shopify provides you a excellent way of doing this through their CDN. Now what's a CDN? A CDN is a content delivery network. And why they're important is because when you have something that is hosted, say, in Europe and you are in Western Canada, like I am, um, every time I request that file, the browser needs to go all the way to Europe to get that data and then transmit it across. Now, everything works over fiber and it's all transmitted at the speed of light and um, it's quite quick, but there are other pieces that are in between it that cause, can cause latency. And every piece of latency or every piece of a slower content compounds when it's trying to load a page because you're, you're loading hundreds of, ele uh, hundreds of elements every single time. So what a CDN does is it takes that data and it distributes it across the planet. So with the CDN, you're going to have uh, web servers that are located in Canada. You're going to have web servers located in the United States, some in, some in Europe, some in um, China. Um, and the CDN will automatically distribute your content to those networks so that when someone in that local area pulls up your file, you don't get served the version that's sitting halfway around the globe, you get served the version that's closest to you. So how do we access this and how do we utilize this inside Shopify in order to make sure that all of our content that is hosted on our site is as fast as it can be and we leverage the technology they already have in place so we don't have to worry about it when we start expanding. Let me show you how to do that. So if you're in your on your dashboard, we're under under home like we normally start, you want to go down to settings and it's kind of a edge case when it comes to wanting to store uh, different files inside your site, um, but I'm going to show you exactly where you go to do that. So if you click on files, and this is under the settings page, it's going to take you to your file manager. The file manager inside Shopify manages all of the things that you upload. Now, whether that be through a blog post, or whether that be through a page, um, or you've uploaded specifically through this file manager, everything that shows up in that little drop, uh, little light box that comes up when you hit the image button, this is where it's stored. So we can go and hit the upload files button and we can go and upload our own file. So in this case, um, I'm going to upload an MP3 that we're going to be giving uh, access to our customers to be able to download. Um, it's, a, it's a sample MP3 um, that we want them to be able to go, download, and then um, test out. We may even be using this for digitally delivering content. So if we have a PDF, for example, that it has been purchased through the website and then we need to deliver them the link. It's a really good idea to store that on Shopify so that you can utilize your CDN instead of storing it you know, somewhere on another web server where you're gonna be responsible for the cost. So once it's uploaded here, you can see it's now placed it on our browser. Uh, we've got our link to the file on the left and then we have our URL on the right. Now you can see in the URL that it has been placed on the Shopify CDN and given a file name. So anytime we want to reference that file, we can click on copy and then upload or copy and then paste to where we want. Now it's important to understand that Shopify does have a limit to how much um, data you can put on their CDN. They have at this point 700,000 stores. So you can imagine it's quite a bit of service space required. And if they let it unlimited for everyone, they would run out of space. So they have restricted it to 20 megs per file. So if you want to upload something more than 20 megs, um, you're going to need to store it on AWS or Google Drive or perhaps maybe Dropbox, somewhere else that allows you to store those bigger file names. Now all of those people also manage CDNs, so um, your content will be distributed around the world. Um, but it's uh, something to keep in mind when you're uploading things that if you're having errors uploading a file, it's most likely because of the size limit that they give you. And they don't actually tell you what the size limit is on this page. Um, you'd have to go into um, the documentation that's at the bottom of every Shopify store. So that's a basic overview of how you upload files inside uh, Shopify. Uh, you can use this to upload, like I said, PDFs, 
MP3s, maybe video files. Video files are uh, used to upload if you want to have some sort of video presentation on the front of your website and you decide not to use YouTube or Vimeo. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for coming by. I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if that's something that you're into. And we will see you in the next one.